The owner of a popular swimming hole in New Bern is again defending his property. Just last week, a Beaufort County man died at the Green Springs Swimming Point. In 2010, a teenager drowned. The owner tells us two others also died on his property. County EMS is reporting they've responded to seven emergency calls from Green Springs, including for medical reasons. Our Zora Stevenson brought some of your concerns to the owner. She joins us now with his reaction. Zora. Angela, Green Springs has been around for 50 years, and now, after several injuries and deaths, some people want to see it close. They're wondering why authorities are not stepping in. We can come down here and clean up the beach for a good turn project, and I've never lived. George Weatherington opened Green Springs to give kids in the area a place to hang out. Just like a big homecoming. I like these kids and my kids. And for many visitors, it's a tradition as long as you're safe. It's a historical you know, spot for New Bern and North Carolina. It, I, I have a blast here. It's like any place, like the beach. If you don't know the undertows and the currents, you can get hurt. Well, it's same with these piers out here. If you don't know who's jumping above you, below you, you don't know if somebody's in the water, you can get hurt. Green Springs is a private facility, but it's free to the public, and there are warnings for visitors to swim at your own risk. Weatherton says since he opened in 1965, Four people have died there. I've had some of the pirates come down after too hard and, and tell me, well, they uh, had been down here for years and they trusted them with me. After the most recent death on August 25th, complaints started to roll in on Green Springs' Facebook page. One person said, quote, I wouldn't send my worst enemy to this place, not just one death, but multiple. How is this place still standing? But for Ronnie Loveland, a frequent visitor, he says they all know the risk. 98% of the people have been hurt out here. I've been here around, and I've seen what they've done, and it was not safe. And then I, we warned them about that. No running on the piers, no diving in shallow. Those are the main things. If you dive in shallow, the shallow is shallow. It's three feet deep. It's hard. If you hit that bottom, you're going to break your neck. Weathering 10 said after one person was hurt, he did consider shutting down. For now, it's not in his plans. He says at 85 years old, Green Springs is his life, and he doesn't know what he would do without it. Zora Stevenson, not on your side.